you're 16 to 1 to be the next leader, uh, A, are you definitely running? I mean, are you 100% in to be the leader? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not ruling it out, but I'm not ruling it in. What I care about well, is that we like, have a leader that sounds like the mess we've been in with Theresa May for three years. the centre ground. We're kind of hoping that the next leader hey? might be somebody who can either rule in or rule out. That's part of the problem, <laughs> Mr Hancock. We want clear political no, messages. What I want to see is a leader a who wants to lead. That, come on, are you going to lead us or not? Do you want to lead us? There'll come a moment... There'll come a moment for that, but at the moment I'm concentrating on trying to uh, deliver Brexit. OK, uh, what did you have... The, uh, uh, you're what the we need to do is then... All right, you're the health secretary. What did you have for breakfast this morning to inspire us about being healthy? Uh, well, I had a... Um, uh, good question. I had a banana... <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then I, I had a stroke waffle because I needed a, few, a, a bit of energy to, uh, uh, well, we had to a, talk to I'm you. I'm told here. you had a caramel waffle. We've got a picture of you eating it there. This is three, <laughs> 360 calories and 16.2% fat, which is half your fat content for the day gone. So what kind of example are you... All good things in moderation. I mean, there you are, <laughs> scoffing it. I mean, come on, Mr Hancock, you're the health secretary. The banana, fine. Yeah, this... but we're all allowed a bit of joy in our lives from time to time. I've never seen anyone it's enjoy just, a caramel overall... waffle more than you. <laughs> I was, I, I knew that I was about to come on this program, and you need your, you know, you need to be up and ready to go at it. So, is your message to the nation? <laughs> look, 356 calories, 16.2 degrees fat. For school is this, children watching, is this would your you message? recommend it as a breakfast? Given food? we're a breakfast show, is this your, is this your rally cry to the nation to have a caramel waffle to get you going? If you like, if you like a caramel waffle, have a caramel waffle. Just don't have too many and do a bit of exercise. I don't think I've ever seen anyone enjoy one more than you're enjoying <laughs> it in this clip. I've got to be honest with you. you I are love safe. life. It's like I you haven't had one for a year. I love my, I love my waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think when you uh, looking at that with jealousy, you, the you, fact that you could eat so well? If on you camera. become, if you become prime minister, I've got another one in my pocket actually. No, I, uh, you've already had 356 <laughs> calories. What you're armed with two caramel waffles? Seriously, <laughs> really? I think they come in packs of two, don't they? Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> they do. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Mr. Hancock, look, we look forward to. Uh, to be honest with you, we look forward to this fast being over. Because everybody knows Theresa May's gone. We all know that <laughs> yes. we all know there'll be a new leader, uh, a new prime minister, and the big question is who's, who should that person be? And at the moment, you're still in and out, right? Yeah, well, I, I care about I care about I care about the argument, right? I care about. Of course, I'm considering it, and it's flattering that um, people are asking me to. Uh, but the, I care about the Conservative Party delivering for people, right, and being in the centre ground of British politics. And, you know, whether that's the pound in your pocket or good public services, or also having a patriotism and a unionism rather than a narrow nationalism. Yeah. These things matter, and they matter, you know, of course we've got to deliver Brexit, but we've got to get on to all the other things that we can do okay. as a country. What is your... We're about this, to talk you know, to... We live in a great country that can be even better. We are okay. about to talk to Lord Heseltine. Yeah, I wanted what... to ask, if you, um, if you had a chance to talk to Lord Heseltine, would you suggest that he didn't say that uh, members of the Conservative Party should vote for another party? Would you even think that he should be expelled for such treachery? Well, I absolutely think that he and everybody else, whether members of the party or not, uh, should vote Conservative on Thursday, because it's only the Conservative Party that can actually deliver on Brexit. I understand there's protest votes going on, uh, but there's one party that can actually deliver, and that's the Conservative but Party, and I hope that we Lord have Hesseltine the opportunity to do that in Parliament. He's, he's so disappointed well, with the party, he's going to vote for a different one. Well, I think he's disappointed with Brexit rather than the party per se, but I think that we have to deliver. We, are, we, live, on a, we live in a democracy, and one of the central tenets of a democracy is that when there is a vote, you abide by the result of the vote. And you know, I said beforehand I'd respect the result of the okay. referendum. Um, and uh, so many members of parliament did, and now we should vote for it. And whatever you think of the details, this new bill that's coming forward is the opportunity actually you know to deliver. And then we can move forward. Most people, you know, ironically, most people are sick and tired of the waffle that people are talking about. The Brexit. Stroop waffle. The waffle, caramel or otherwise. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs>
Uh, I've been Matt feeling Hancock. sick and tired of the debate on it, so if we only, should just get on with it. If only you could be as certain about your leadership ambition as you were about the desire to eat that waffle, we'd all be a lot easier with it. Mm. <laughs> Matt Hancock, <laughs> thanks very much.